All right, adventurers, welcome back, Dog Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke, and I did a lot of training. Oh, a lot of training to get our team where we should be, so that we can fight against uh, 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 Morty. Morty's his name. We can fight against Morty, the leader of the Ecrutique Gym. 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 There we go. <laughs> this is Perry, our brave Primplup. He's at level 25 now. His attacks bide, peck, surf, and metal claw. Here's what I here's here's my here's my logic. Let's say we put Perry up against something that he can handle defensively. Bide would be our best move, most likely. If Surf's not gonna do it, bide is gonna be our best move. We won't attack for two turns, but all the damage that we do take over those two turns will be dealt back in double. And then uh, the same old moves. Uh, Dawn, Dawn evolved from a modest Makuhita to a modest Hariyama. Uh, her ability is still Guts, and her attacks, Smelling Salt, Sand Attack, Knock Off, and Vital Throw. Here's, okay, here's the logic here. I, had to, I, I, I want you to get the logic on every single one of my strategies. Smelling Salt. The way Smelling Salt works is it deals double damage on a foe that's paralyzed. Dawn has no way to paralyze an opponent, but if you guys remember Viper, Vipes, good old Vipes has Glare, which is a perfect way to paralyze an opponent. So Vipes and Dawn are going to be battle buddies. Uh, Vipes' purpose is to paralyze. Dawn will use Smelling Salt and deal double damage. So we can most likely, most likely get rid of a Pokemon in one shot. Look at that attack stat. Dawn is going to be a key player I'm seeing. Did all the other moves, same plan, sand attack, not call final throw. I got rid of, I believe it was focus energy. Smelling salt should be fine. If we can get the glare smelling, sm smelling salt strategy, we won't have to worry about critical hits. Next up, we have Vipes, who's no longer an Ekans. Viper, the hardy Arbok. Welcome to the team. Uh, the ability is still Intimidate, and the attacks are now Wrap, Glare, Acid, and Crunch. Poison Stink got replaced with Acid. It's just a stronger version of it. And Crunch got re I'm sorry, Bite got replaced by Crunch. It's a stronger version. The only catch is now it doesn't, um, it doesn't crit. I'm sorry, it doesn't cause the opponent to flinch or the target to flinch. Instead, what it does is it has a chance of lowering the target's defense, which is perfect. I'm okay with that. I like that trade-off, honestly. Waste. The lax Beedrill. Waste attacks are Rage, Fury Attack, Pursuit, and Twin Needle. I did not want to get rid of Focus Energy because I believe the way Focus Energy works when an, with an attack that deals damage more than once in one turn, each, each move has its own chance of being a critical hit. That's great with Focus Energy. That's how I think it works. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Fury Attack and Twin Needle both deal multiple rounds of damage each turn, so it always would have had a chance. But I said, you know, if we're getting rid of the Focus Energy strategy on one Pokemon, we should probably get rid of it on all of them so I don't bank on that. So we put in Rage instead. Rage is, Rage is okay. Rage is a decent attack. Uh, how much does it deal? It's 20, but it, uh, it gains attack power every time the user takes damage. So Rage is okay. Next, we have Scavenger, who's a Raticate now. Just the whole team. whole team went up and evolved. Modest Raticate. Uh, attack. Sucker Punch, Crunch, Hyper Fang, and Focus Energy. Focus Energy is... I'm sorry. Scavenger is the only one I didn't get rid of Focus Energy on. I figured Scavenger could actually use it. A Rattata that, that can do criticals? Yo, that's pretty good. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Um, Sucker Punch. The way Sucker Punch works... It has to go first, and it has to be going against a Pokemon that's getting ready to use an attack. All right, and then Crunch again got rid of Bite for Crunch. It's a, it's a stronger, it's a stronger, better version. I like the trade-off. Finally, we have Echo the Bold Chingling. Its attacks it has Last Resort, Uproar, Astonish, and Confusion. Last Resort. If we get to the point where Echo needs to use Last Resort, I need Echo to kill everything. That's what it's for. Last Resort can only be used when all the other moves by that Pokemon are, are done. Are done though. So Echo's only using Last Resort, what? 25 and 15 is 40 plus another 10 is 50. 
Echo's only using last resort if it can last 51 turns in the battle. So that's why I put it on there. What was it? Pound, I believe. I, I, I'm down with that trade off. I'm okay with that trade off. So that's that's our team right now, ladies and gentlemen. That's who we're running with. Okay, we're gonna get ready to go up against Morty, the leader of the Ecritique City Gym. We should be stocked up on items. I'm not going all the way back. We didn't really, we didn't really get much money. We're going to the Ecritique City Gym, not whoever's house that is. Uh, Morty is normally a ghost type gym leader. Normally, I say normally. Yo, champ in the making. The trainers here use ghost type Pokemon at will. A ghost is like a shade or a phantom. It won't do any good to use physical strength alone. Noted. All right, we're gonna run in the dark here, and we're gonna fight. Uh, we're gonna fight this trainer. Now I'm gonna save after each battle because what I've noticed is that hard to go to Soul Silver do something weird when there's a filter layer over whatever's going on. Like, right now, it's hard to explain. Let me see if I can explain this. There's, there's the, uh, the, the path that we can walk on here. There's the path to walk on. But we can't see it. It, it can't be seen by us. There's a layer over it. That, that black, that darkness, is a layer that's over it. It does something, the game does something weird. Like, it messes up all the sprites and stuff. So I'm going to say before and after each battle, just so that if things go wrong, I can, I can reset the game and come back in with, with no visual problems. Now that that's understood, now that I got that out of the way, let's get into the first battle. Hopefully they don't have ghosts. I mean, we're fine type-wise. Everyone knows a move that's not normal type, normal or fighting type, so we should be able to damage ghosts. But I hope we don't have to fight ghosts. Perry, we're fighting the Slowpoke. Hope you can do it, buddy. Here's a metal claw. Let's see about how much damage uh, Slowpoke can deal. And my Bide might be what we need. Last time we would have needed a Bide. If you guys remember how Slowpoke well went, Bide would have been perfect for Slowpoke well. Oh, you got this, Perry. Oh, never mind. Never mind. There's a confusion. All right, we're going to peck. Come on. Just don't get confused, Perry. Don't get confused. I spoke it up. I spoke it up. That's my fault. That's my fault. I did that. All right. Good work. Proud of you. Proud of you, big dog. Beldum. All right. Beldum is steel and psychic type. Who has a dark attack? Oh, it's not going to be super strong. Uh, Fighting won't be super strong either. Dang. He covered his bases here. Or the, the lady covered her bases. We could paralyze it and then go smelling salt. You guys what? Ooh, it's psychic type though. This is so risky. This is so, I'm not doing that. That's too risky. I think, okay. Echo, this is your shot. This is your shot. Man, I almost risked two Pokemon for that. Two great Pokemon at that. They are amazing. I am proud of them. Come on, X. Come on, X. Catch it with an Astonish. The fact that it's Steel and Psychic, unless we have a Fire type, all of its cover, all of its bases are covered. Here's an uproar. Hold this uproar for me, Vamalam. That's a little bit better, honestly. Take down. Come on. Come on. All right. Let's go. That uproar is being made. Come on, Echo. You got this. You got this, Echo. I'm proud of you. Uh oh. Take down? Yes. It should kill itself, I believe. Yep, there it is. Good work. Good work! Proud of you, Echo. With the level up. Echo doing the damn thing. Echo called out. Good. An unknown? She has an unknown? I think we can keep Echo in. Hidden power, right? Unknown knows hidden power. We won't know what type. What type hidden power is until it, it lands its attack. So let's heal up. Let's let's blow the turn and heal up. Uh 30 points. Yeah, we'll blow the fresh water. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Hidden power. As long as it's not ghost or dart. Okay. Oh, it's super effective. It is ghost. It's either ghost or dart. But in either case, it's super effective. Let's finish it up with an astonish. Oh, man. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. Damn, and that one was a crit. All right, Echo, we need to be faster about this. Come on. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. All right, Echo, stop playing around. Do it. Mm, do it. Good work. Mm, good work. The Rama Raid. Uh, we're switching out. We got to switch out. Can we go Dawn on a Rema Raid? I think we can do Dawn. Actually, let's try it out, Rema Raid. It, does, it shouldn't know psychic attacks. Let's try this strat out. Vipes, you got this. The only thing I guess that I don't like about this strategy is that they're both weak to one type. They're both weak to one type, and it, it requires me switching out for it to work. I have to switch from Viper to, uh, from Viper to Dawn for it to work. So here's a glare. Give him that stare. Give him a glare. Lock on. The next attack will hit. Which means we need to get Viper the F out of there. Come on, Dawn. Smelling Salt's coming up. Good work. All right. Smelling Salt. Wham! One shot. Good work. Proud of you. Proud of you both, Viper and Dawn. A tentacool. Tentacool is one of my friend's favorite Pokemon. <laughs> oh, shoot. I should have said... Oh, I hit the wrong button completely. I meant to switch to uh, Viper, but I should have switched to Echo. It's, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Here's a... Uh, oh, it's Poison type. Actually, we probably should switch. Let's switch to Perry. Let's switch to Perry. Poison is strong against fighting. I never, I never knew Poison had a strong, who Toxic Spice. I never knew Poison had strength against, uh, or had an advantage, I should say, against fighting types. Here's a Metal Claw for your soul. Toxic Spikes. I wonder if Toxic Spikes works with Bide. If I were to get hit with Toxic Spikes, or if I were to switch into Toxic Spikes, and then use Bide. It took the two point, uh, the the two turns of damage from Toxic Spikes. Would that would that work? I want to know if that would be a thing. It seems like if it would, people would use that strategy because that's a, that's a lot of damage. It's what a six and then an eighth. So that's what? How does that work? Let's see. A sixth and then an eighth. That would be three sixteenths damage you take. And then you deal double. So it'd be six sixteenths of your health. Or was that three eighths? It'd be three eighths of your health. As well as any damage you take from the opponent the entire time you use Bide. That's that's a lot of damage. That's in most cases that seems like that'd be at least half of the opponent's health. Or of the user's health. That's that should be a lot of damage if you ask me. Ah, well done. Sorry. Wasn't worried about you. I was doing math. I was doing math. Okay, it didn't happen this time. Oh, and that's what happens. Uh, after the battle, let's see, all of the trainers here hold candles. They're using the light. After the battle, the light goes out, and then you want to try and navigate this place without falling off the sides. It's a little bit dangerous. Uh, I'm going to save because, again, I don't need no, I don't need no issues when it comes to, uh, when it comes to layers. <laughs> I used to layer all the time. If you if you understand Photoshop, I feel like you would understand that layer talk a little bit. You would understand it. Okay, so we can walk here. You kind of need to memorize the path that you need to go on. They're pretty simple. They're pretty straightforward, but it helps to memorize where you need to go. So we're here. I'm going to save once again. Like, I'm saving every time. You won't get me. You won't catch me slipping. No, no. Not on this day. Once again, I hope you guys are enjoying the Nuzlocke. I'm having a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. This is this game really feels like 
going back to my childhood because I don't play Gen 2 or Gen 4 a lot. I was what? I want to say I was 13 when this came out. I was either like somewhere between 11 and 13 when this came out. So ooh, I, I finally told my age. You guys finally got out of me. I was around that age when uh, when this game came out. I should have healed. I should have healed up the team. I wasn't thinking. It'll be okay. We can test out Surf. Here you go. Hold this Surf. For oh, no. Oh, it didn't. It didn't. Oh, look at that. Go ahead, Perry. I am proud of you. Use your Surf. Of course. Lunatone is part rock, part psychic. I expected Surf to do the business. Combuskin. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. It's a combustion though, so we're gonna we're gonna mortalize it. It's part fighting, part fire. Here we go. Another surf for your soul. Can you combustion hold this light? I don't think it can. Do now. Perry one shot in everybody today. Perry is not here for your sass. Oh, that was it. That was it. That's how I felt. All right. Pretty much we can walk around this woman and then follow the path along so that we can get to the next location without without falling off the side of the thing. Alright. Uh, we're going to heal. Let's heal Echo. And then we'll heal Echo again. That was the last potion. Now we're down to Hyper Potions, Lemonades, and Super Potions. Here's a soup. Here's a soup for Perry. Come on. Come on, come on, hey. All right, we're gonna walk, oh, let's save. We can't forget, we must save. We must save. I thought it was a joke. No, I'm scared. I'm scared this will be graphically ruined. I'm trying to make sure everything, everything goes right for this playthrough. Not, not perfect, but everything goes well. Everything is enjoyable. Might be asking, why is the Pokedex say nine when we have way more Pokemon than that? It's because we don't have the national decks yet, so the game doesn't recognize Pokemon why is it so okay? It's it's showing me the path. Got it. The the game doesn't recognize Pokemon that aren't found within Johto. I think out of the entire team, we maybe have only caught what I want to say. I want to say maybe four, and then evolved the rest. Evolved everybody. Um, well, that's impossible. We've caught five maybe, and evolved the rest to where they can be. They can uh be recognized by the Pokédex. Sneasel, part ice, part. Part dark. We're gonna catch it with a metal claw. Come on. Uh oh, it's pretty strong. All right, it's pretty good. Steel against ice is pretty good. Fury swipes. Please be weak. It's not bad. It's four, and it goes several times. It goes twice. So it's eight points of damage for his soul. All right, here we go. Sneeze is gone. Oh, that was it? Oh, y'all, that's all? That's all y'all got? That's all y'all got? I'm upset. All right, so we walk around here. I think that man was supposed to tell us, hey, if you're not careful, you'll fall off the side of the thing. Somebody was supposed to tell us that. I don't know which one of you clowns is slacking, but y'all slacking. I didn't save, and I watched things be messed up. Called it. All right, I'm going to save here and reload, all right? Give me a sec. All right, problem solved. Let's get into this battle. Oh, we have to go back around. Okay, so we have to dip back down to where Perry is, go to the right too, go up, and then behind this woman. Got it. I kind of wish I knew that before this battle because we could have we could have avoided that situation from the start. But that that's part of this puzzle. Uh, you're not supposed to know that, so. Fan P, it's part ground. Guess who's, guess who's, guess who's going to work? It's Surf. It's Perry Surf. He's out. He's one. I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried. Sorry, Fan P. Not sorry. Uh, Snover, ice and grass? That's Dawn's business, isn't it? Sure is with that vital throw for the soul. We could have stuck with Perry and used uh, Metal Claw. Because as we know, Ice is weak against steel attacks. Snowverse is going to get the work. Oh, snow warning. 
Loverly. Loverly is hailing. There's going to be hail damage each turn. Icy wind. Wait a second. Look at that health. Dawn's got a lot of health. It's a crit. Speed drop. Speed drop. Vital throw. Give him the business. Good work. Proud of you. Proud of you, Dawn. You holding up. Dawn is holding her own here, ladies and gentlemen. And there's the ice damage. Come on. Eradicate. Oh, oh we need to keep uh, Dawn in. Vital throw. A pursuit. You thought we were going to switch? Curtis. Pursuit deals a lot more damage if the target is switching. A lot more. It is ridiculous. Dawn. Dawn got this one. I'm proud of Dawn. Dawn could have took out uh could take out that Snover by herself too. Okay, we need to dip down two. Or just one. We need to dip down one to the right. Two. Up. Two. Oh Lord. Is this it? No. What was I thinking? We need to go behind the woman. Okay, so it lights the path back up for us. We can go here. Oh, I'm a clown. I'm a clown. All right. My controller is really sensitive. So that's that's why I fell off the side. Yes, I'm blaming the controller. It was why I just said the controller's fault and not my own. All right, so we don't have to worry about dipping back because the woman has been reset. And I believe the next trainer, yes, the next trainer is Morty. All right. As always, I'm going to save here. I'm going to make sure everybody's good. I do think I need to heal Perry. Oh. Let's heal first and then and then we can get into it. We could uh we could save and do all the all the business. Here's a lemonade pear. Actually, oh wait, Perry's good. Did we really one shot everybody? Not give him a chance? Yeah. Oh no, Dawn needs to heal cuz of the the snow damage or what's it called? Um the ice damage. 50, 50 should do it. Yeah, 50 is good. All right. Okay, so we're going to go up against Morty. Morty should have four Pokemon, I believe. Normally, he'd have ghost types, but as we can see, this ain't no ice type gem. If anything, it's, what was it? What have we seen the most? Fire, fire, ice, and I want to say steel. Fire, ice, and steel. But that's, that doesn't make it that type of gem. All right, team. I hope you guys are ready. We, we're we having a great day today. We've recorded a lot today. We're having a great day. Let us go. It is good to have you to have come. Here in Icrutique, people have long been revered. It's said that a rainbow-hued Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. I see a shadow of the person who will make the Pokemon appear. I believe that person is me. You're going to help me reach that level. All right, here it goes. Our fourth gym battle, we're going against Morty. Come get this work, Morty. His first Pokemon is v v Brava. I don't know why I have trouble saying that name. V Brava. It is ground and dragon. Is Steel good against... I doubt Steel is good against Ground. Let's catch it with a Surf. I know Surf's not good. Sonic Boom. That's what? 20? All right. Sonic Boom deals a static amount of damage. No matter the type, no matter the target, no matter their stats, it always deals 20 damage. Just like the other one always deals 40. What's the other one? I forget the other the other type, but there's one that deals 40 every time. Parry to level 27. Proud of you, big dog. Proud of you. Swampert. Oh, no. We are in trouble. He has a Swampert. Dawn, I think this is your fight. Actually, if I send Viper, he's just going to kill Viper. Because there's no way it doesn't know a ground-type attack. And Glare's the only way we can paralyze it. Damn. I really don't want to risk this biscuit. I'm going to send Viper for Dawn. For, for uh for a glare and then we're going right into dawn that's i think that's the only way we could take this out swampert should be bulky should be tank like <sighs> here's swampert it's under level that you shouldn't have a level 25 swampert that's cheating that's illegal all right here we go 
Here's the glare. We're fast. Oh no. Viper! Much shot. Oh, Viper. Okay. Vipes. Vipes, I need you to land this glare for your for the rest of the team's sake. For your sake, I need this glare. What happened? What happened when that came to, to speed? Why did we go first the first time? Are we even were they evenly matched? What happened that first time? Here's a vital throw. Oh shoot! He did bide. We have to kill it. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Okay, so here's what's gonna happen with Here's what's gonna happen with Bide. As I mentioned, Bide deals Bide makes it so you don't attack for two turns. But however much damage you take over those two turns, on that third, you will deal twice as much as that damage. We either kill Swampert or we're gonna lose somebody. I highly doubt Dawn will be able to stand that much damage, because that was a lot. Swampert should have a lot of health. Especially at level like 25, he's very low level, but he should have a lot. Please sand attack. Please let sand attack work against Bide's actual damage dealing turn. I don't know if it works or not. I'm just banking on it. I'm banking on it. Nope. Come on. Come on, Dawn. All right. Proud of you. Proud of you. We're going to have to sand attack it out. Actually, we could heal here. Let's heal. Now that we know it has Bide, we can, we can scum heal. I'm going to call it. Uh, some people don't like that. It's a, it, it works. It's a strategy. It works. We're going to heal Dawn. He might use Bide. If he does, then we can stay under tech for a few turns just to make it so that it doesn't... It, it raises the chance of it not working. A mud bomb. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. What is that? Speed? Accuracy. Okay, that's not fine. That's not fine. What we're going to do is we're going to vital throw here. Mud bomb. Okay. Good work. Proud of you. All right. What was that, an orange berry? This clown had a citrus berry. A sand attack. I don't trust it. I don't trust. I trust that bite's coming back. It's going to come back and get me. I'm not here for that. Here we go. Mud bomb. All right, we can do this. We can get rid of it. If it's bite or not, we can get rid of it here. Good. Good. All those sand attacks paid off. I think Vital Throw can't miss. I think I saw in its, its description that Vital Throw will not miss. Of course. Of course. I expect that much. It can't miss. The only catch is we can only use it 10 times. Since we used it before this battle, we didn't we didn't come in with the 10. We're down to 2 after this. One. Come on. Come on. Hey, come on. There's a mud bomb. All right, so Bai's not gonna not gonna come through. We're gonna heal up here. We're gonna heal here so that we go into the last, the last two. Yeah, the last two with decent with a decent team remaining. Uh, lemonade. It's actually a perfect number. There we go. Come on, Don. All right. Mud bomb. All right, here we go. Dawn, last, last uh, vital throw. You got this. All right. There we go. Good work. Proud of you, Dawn. I'm sorry you lost your battle, buddy, but I'm proud of you. Yeah. Swallow. Yo, you got to come out, family. We don't have anybody for Swallow. Uh, I guess the best would be who don't want. Let's not send Perry out right now. Let's send Scavenger. Swallow is a bird. It's part normal, part f uh, flying.
could Sucker Punch have worked against Bide? I don't think that counts. I don't think that counts as readying an attack. I'll look up. I'll look up whether or not it works, and I'll find out. But I'm not sure whether that counts as readying an attack. Readying an attack would be like this person is charging. Uh, they're storing energy. They they withdrew their head. Things like that. I think. I think Scavenger might have a tough time with this one. Another wing attack. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna heal. We're gonna heal. Super potion, yeah. We're gonna soup it up. She should be able to attack one more time and then swell, or he should be able to attack one more time and then swallow us down. Quick attack. Bro, that's a huge quick attack. Here's a crunch. Focus energy. Oh, he blew it. You blew it, Morty. Yeah, yo. Yeah. All right. Last is Ariados. Perfect. We have the perfect thing for Ariados. Ariados is part bug, part poison. Perry. Perry's Peck should be able to handle it. Lord have mercy. I hope Peck can do the job. Come on. No. It's not over yet. Not yet. I still believe we can do it. Here we go. Dang, that thing is level 21. Nightshade. Nightshade is whose attack, or who, whose level? It is the user's level. Okay. So that means Seismic Talk. Seismic Toss is the target's level. So there's another 21 here because Ariados is level 21. We need to heal. We need to heal simply because I don't want that speed junk to happen. I don't want the game to have been lying to me this entire fight, or this, this battle between these two. And say, oh, you wear faster, but guess what? Guess what? Not no more. Alright, here we go. That, I ain't want that to happen either. I would have been hot. Oh, I would have been hot. Come on. Does steel, is steel super effective against bugs? Because if so, then we, I think we got this one. We can, we can, we can metal claw it up, boy. Here we go. Nope, not super effective. It's okay. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. All right, here's a peck for your soul. Almost. You're so close, Perry. Guess who's potioning it up? Or who's lemonading it up? Guess who's lemonading it up? Here you go. Hold this drink for me, Perry. All right, you got it. You got it, fam lamb There you go. Good work. Proud of Team Snaps and Claps today, ladies and gentlemen. I am proud of Team Snaps and Claps today. How is this possible? When we walk out of here, Mom's going to use some of our money and see. I don't think our potentials are so different. But you seem to have something more than that. So be it. This badge is yours. We got the fog badge. That's four badges, ladies and gentlemen. We we are making quick progress through this game. We're halfway done. By having the fog badge, Pokemon up to level 50, including Tridid Pokemon, will obey you. Also, Pokemon will be able to use Surf outside of battle, he means. We've been using Surf this entire time. He means now we can actually Surf on Perry, which would be cool. Here is another thing. I want you to have this too. It's TM30. Let's find out what TM30 is. Whatever he tells us it is, it won't be. It's Shadow Ball. It causes damage and may reduce special defense. Use it if it appeals to you. All right. Let's take a look at uh, TM30. I didn't save, so when we come back, it's gonna be it's gonna be messed up. TM30. TM30 is Mud Shot. That's really weird as many times as he uses Mud Shot this battle. That's really weird. But it's Mud Shot. Oh, it's, it's not messed up. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save here. We're gonna save here and we're gonna take the quick way out. And we are halfway done with all of the badges for Johto. This is wild. 
This is wild. I feel like it took a lot longer for us to get through Fire Red than it is taking us to get through uh, Heart Gold. All right, let's take the shortcut out of here. Oh, it won't work. Let's take the shortcut out. All right. So now let's talk to this man. Ooh, chill. You did great. I was cowering in the corner of pure tra terror. Yeah, I bet. All right. To the book. Oh, of course. Of course. It's mom. Why wouldn't it be? Mom bought some more stuff. Isn't that just well? I, I bet you. I bet you. I bet you it's amazing stuff she bought. I bet you it's stuff we can truly use. Well, find out next time. We're going to the Pokemon Center. We're healing up. We're putting uh, another one in the box. Then we're calling it a day, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke, and we'll love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Now it's that subscribe button. And I'll do my best. Do my best to make sure you guys get to see more episodes of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. More challenges like Nuzlocke runs, as well as everything else that Alt Play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play. It's getting to the point where when, when they die, I'm actually trying to figure out how we're going to continue. And we're, we're very quickly running out of good options. <sighs> I'll see you guys later with more. Bye.